Hello everyone, how are you? I welcome to my channel today and we have a special guest here. I'm going to introduce her in a very few seconds, but before that we start, I have to highlight the topic of the today. Topic of today is about green card, marriage, family, citizenship in America. And Welcome to my TV show. Thank you. Yes. So the first thing, who are you? I am Marie Makalilo and I am Ernest's wife. Yes. So because many people have been asking, like, I made one video a couple, like, three weeks ago about the interview, green card marriage interview. Mm -hmm. And people were asking, like, is it possible you can bring your wife on the show so that you can be able to interview, so that you can hear how did you meet, how the process went things of that nature to get another person's perspective than me just giving like a talk, lecture, things of that nature. So thank you for accepting my invitation to be here. So this is the first time to be on my YouTube show. Well, I'm happy to be here. Thank you okay. for having me. Okay, so before I start asking her question or just getting some understanding and what she went through together with me, obviously, remember, click here, there is subscription button here. Yeah. And there are description of this video, and at the end of this video, I'll be putting some some of the suggested videos you can be able to watch. Them will be about green card, about education, scholarships, about visas, everything, anything you need to know in order to succeed in America. So let us start with the first question: How did we meet? <laughs> it wasn't in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, okay. We actually met on eHarmony.com. And what is eHarmony? eHarmony is one of the more, let's say, conservative sites for um, single people to meet, be matched, and um, hopefully get married. It's also it's like Match.com, and uh, it's there's an extensive process you pay, and this so we've been married almost ten years now. So I know eHarmony has changed a lot, it because of yeah. course the internet has changed a lot and things. So many things have changed. So, but um, we both had already met a lot of people through eHarmony, and we've already been through the process. So when we met, it was a lot easier because we really knew what we wanted. So. And the, when we were matched on eHarmony, uh, usual, I don't think I put my um, Tanzanian one from Africa, and obviously you can see I'm black, obviously, but there was no, like, I didn't say, no, like, I didn't put I was American. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't put that. <laughs> but when we met, oh, after through conversation, I highlighted you that I was studying at the University of San Diego doing my master's. Yes. And by the way, we are both in California, but it was like three, three well, hours. Well, it's three hours away, but I took the train, so it was like four, four yeah, and so, half hours. Yeah, so, but... Through conversation, we, I had to... That is one of the first things you have to put up front if you are not a citizen. It's just better to someone to understand. Yes, just, because then they don't invest. I mean, it's just easier because there's so many things about a person that you'd rather be... I mean, at least both of us would rather to be honest than down the road, then you find out things and then you're so disappointed. Yes. So, okay. So, uh, the way you grew up, uh, you live in California, but... California, we say it is more liberal, so many people, over only about 40 million people. But the way you grew up, you were not exposed to so many foreigners. The neighborhood no, you actually, the, I lived um, about 45 minutes outside of Los Angeles, and it was a town city of about 125,000 people, but it was pretty spread out. And I would say it was lower to middle class and most of them were white people and Indeed. we had a, a little smidgen of this and a little smidgen of that but and then Hispanics the, the but the... really I mean it's unfortunate you know but it was just the way it was where people lived where they commuted from and everything so we pr I probably had maybe 10 to 15 people in my entire 12 years of schooling in the public school district there's nothing it wasn't bad or anything it was just that's was just how it was and the, uh, another question would be, uh, when you get matched, we started communicating, meeting, and knowing one another. Uh, obviously, how did you have belief, like, I can meet this guy, like, and I don't know whether I trust this guy, and maybe decide to get married with this guy. What other things did you do? Like, did you go to FBI and ask for my background check, or <laughs> did you just, like, okay questioning me like how did you like a little bit trusting someone you met online because many people have a difficult uh and as, like trusting pe people they meet right. online and they should yeah and i think that's an excellent question well first of all eHarmony itself 
has a great, uh, at least in my opinion, they have a really good way of introducing other people when they're matched. So you've already answered so many questions about yourself and where you're from and what you do and what your preferences are in a person, uh, even simple things like, do you, you smoke? do you smoke? Do you smoke once a week? Do you smoke all the time? Do you never? The same with drinking. Do you cook? Do you do cook? You... What do you like to eat? I mean, these are simple things, that, and then it ends up matching people. That's why, for us, it was so much easier because we already knew there were a lot of things that we had in common. We didn't have to worry about, oh, you're just somebody that I swiped left or I swiped right <laughs> or whatever, you know? So, um, so I really did trust the eHarmony process because I had already met men. I would already met many men from different backgrounds that either I hadn't met personally or I had met person. I mean, like in face to face. So, and I had, I didn't, I had really wide parameters and I didn't care where they were from. Really. That didn't really matter to me. It was more of where, where is that person or those people that might be my match? So it, I had already met and, and, um, discussed plenty with a Nigerian man and he was very, very honest. And I had talked to him on, met his friends on Facebook. I mean, it was pretty obvious he was a real person. Um, I had met someone that was here from, uh, trying to think, one of the middle, uh, uh, no, South America or something like that. Anyway, sorry, it's been a while. And we went on a couple dates and I got, I met his family. So these were this, you know, that's the kind of way you need to do things. I met a man in Canada. I met his family. I actually went up there because um, he was in the Air Force. So I had to go up there. But see, that's just the way you have to do things. You, if you really want to invest, you, to invest you, yeah. you really have to do the work. And that's one of the things that people say about eHarmony and other things that are really, you know, like that is that they don't get matched and they get frustrated, but you have to do the work. So for him, when I was matched to him, uh, I did. I Googled him. I said, well, who is this person? And, have you ever Googled yourself? There is a video for that. Like, right. What you but, post on the internet will come to hunt you. Exactly. Even if in relationships. But I said, I'm going to find out who this is. And then I even went on Facebook and I said, you know, who, and then who are his friends? And, and at that time, most people were not keeping things private. So you could see these, you know, his friends and, you know, and, and I could, if I want... She came to find out I'm just the son of president. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Like a king, like a king of, king of Zamunda. <laughs> yeah, I said, yeah, okay, I was going to be a queen, right? So what's my African name going to be? So, but we communicated through email and then um, because he was studying at University of San Diego, he said, I can't come to you, so can you come to me? And at that time I didn't have a car, so I... You know, in California, there's the Amtrak train, which worked great. So I took the train down. And uh, uh, so uh, we he picked me up with his friends that he was studying with. And uh, I was very surprised about how everything was. Our little girl is really missing us. Come over okay. here. It's okay. Come on over here. You, you can come over here. Okay. So... We, he picked me up with some of his, what he called a cohort that he was studying with because he was doing his master's. This is our Claire. Anyway, and so um, I was really taken Stop. aback because not, not, they not were taking, very warm way. and welcoming and, wanted, here. and wanted to know all about me. And, and um, for me, that was just really surprising because in America, most people are not like that. They're kind of standoffish. At first, when you first meet somebody, you know, but they were so excited and uh, hi and meet everybody and, you know, all of that. So okay. that's how I really learned more about you was because I talked to the people you've been studying with and there were Americans, there were people from other countries. Yes. What is it? Can I talk? You want to talk? Just say hi. First say of hi. All. So you tell them hi. No, don't take out the, don't take out the, the Just no, say hi. Claire, don't take out the, the, the mic. You Just talk. Say hi. It, it's okay. It, it, yeah. Just say hi without taking off the microphone. It's late today. Tell them you have your own channel. Come to your channel. Yeah, tell them. Happy kids. Happy kids on YouTube. YouTube.co. Yes. And so come to your channel. Subscribe. So, so far, we have been married for since 2010. Yes. May and we have three kids. This is the second one. The first one is Benedict. Na eight, I mean, eight, going to be nine. And then she just, turned, she just turned four. And then Faustina is six months, six months old. She'll be two days. She'll be six months old. Okay, Claire, so. stop. Natasha. Okay. Okay, so another question. 
out. Ah, okay. Mm. Now we just go and undo the processes mm. and the knowing each other, we plan our marriage, okay. we got married. Okay. The question is like, uh, at all those time, like, uh, were you even scared uh, maybe getting married to someone maybe from Africa? Just let's say from that particular sense, like... Well, I think I was nervous that your family might not accept me. And I know that's kind of an odd thing because you'd think it's the other way around, but I really was. I, I was very concerned that... Here was this woman from the United States coming to take their son away, right? I, you know, and because he planned to stay in the United States, and and the good thing, everything I had to explain. Like, this is my plan. I meet you here, so don't think that I'm just coming here for green card. Obviously, right. that was I've, another thing. I, you know, yeah. obviously I was very wary of, and that's what I explained with, like, even when I had met the Nigerian and the one from South America, I was very, very concerned. I will tell you that there was one gentleman that I reported to eHarmony because I could tell that that's what he wanted was just to, and I had not met him face to face, but yeah. so you have to be very, very careful. Yeah. So you have to explain like, okay, if get married, there is this process will happen, mm -hmm. but just in case we get married, don't assume I'm getting married to you just because I want to get green card. And I expressed my, okay, this is what is happening. This will be just, that's the, like a byproduct of marriage. And that's why even we are both Catholics. And then we had a Catholic wedding and we live into following the principle, everything kind of that way. Because we both know people, unfortunately, or have heard of others who have married for a green card and uh, either have had to get a divorce because the government found out. Yeah, so you know? in so the it's end, not good. Just, you are, it's okay to come here. You can find people online. You can find people in the church. You can find people in the bar. Whatever you find someone, in the end, just develop a relationship. Get married. Just don't fear to say that I'm coming from another country. Yeah, because just be honest. And if the person doesn't like that, then that's obviously not the person yeah, for you. Exactly. I mean, really, you know. Yeah, so those are the things we want just to share, first of all from how we met until on the mm. marriage, like the wedding, that when it starts. Then what follows after the wedding, after getting married, married in church or whatever, you get married, what are the next steps into the immigration? That will be a part two of this video. So stay, still, stay tuned and for the second part of this video, which we are going to explain about how did we go to the internet, I mean, applying for the forms, for applying everything, paying a everything. There are a lot of things you have to go through and the most famous is the green card interview by marriage, which is vastly different ball game. So, goodbye everyone for now, but stay tuned for the second part of this video. We are coming back to talk about green card by marriage. The interview part, Claire. Say yes, everyone. Yes. No. Say yes. Bye. No. <laughs> Thank you no. for watching. No. Come back, okay?